backquote home remedies and babies, are they really safe? Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to be updated to future health-related videos. Now let's start. Parents are always looking for ways to help soothe their children. This is certainly nothing that is new, but there are many new parents who are often concerned that they are making a bad decision when it comes to whether it is really safe to use a home remedy for their baby. Trying to make the best decision possible when you are a new parent is extremely frightening. There are plenty of ways that you can make a mistake, but in general, it is very important to ensure you are getting the best results and this means ensuring that your baby stays comfortable. If you suspect that your baby has a serious ailment or is completely dehydrated then it is best to see a doctor. However, the small ailments that may plague your child are often quite easy and simple to treat with a home remedy. Just be sure that you closely monitor their condition. Many parents who do watch serious problems develop notice rather quickly when they are in over their head. However, if you do not carefully watch your child you will find it much harder to actually tell if your child is developing further complications. A simple home remedy using natural ingredients in small dosages is typically quite safe for babies. However, you should be very careful not to overuse the remedy which could potentially cause your baby significant problems. Always talk to your doctor if you have any serious questions about which home remedies are safe to use for your baby. Talking to your doctor is typically a great way to learn which home remedy methods are safe and which should be avoided. It is also extremely important to ensure you carefully watch for any allergic reactions with any home remedy that you are trying. This is particularly important for babies since they cannot tell you if they are suffering a reaction. Most babies respond quite well to home remedies though, especially as long as you are careful to properly follow all of the instructions. With home remedies for babies helping everything from teething to colic, stomach aches, and even colds there are plenty of ways to offer your child relief without having to always run to the doctor. Of course, there are some times when venturing to the doctor is essential, but you can certainly look towards home remedies to help reduce the occurrence of doctor's visits easily. You will of course grow much more comfortable using home remedies with your children as your child gets older. There is little to worry about as long as you are careful though, just be certain to avoid anything that is potentially toxic especially with extremely young children. A quick trip to the doctor is quite possible, but it is certainly not a lot of fun. A small home remedy for your baby will allow you to avoid most of the doctor's visits and also enable you to be absolutely certain that you are getting the proper results that you really need. Going to the doctor is never any fun, but if you really need to take your baby to the doctor then it should be done. Always making the time to go to the doctor will ensure your baby stays healthy and also provide ample opportunity to talk to your doctor about any remedies that you are curious about. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.